What's good guys, it's Friendly Legends here, and today is September 15th, 2022, and today I'm going to be covering a project called Ranga. So this is a project that I've been in since pre-reveal uh, for I think a couple of weeks now at this point. I had like three of the uh, black boxes, which are what you use to reveal these uh, PFPs. So far, 7,000 have been minted out of the 10,000 collection. Uh, with the remainder still being uh, black boxes that people could still burn. The black boxes do have a premium, so the floor just hit a new all-time high of 1.15 ETH, and the black boxes, last I checked, were like 1.7. So you're basically uh, gambling by opening and hoping to get a rare. Otherwise, you instantly lose value. Uh, anyone who's like opened up packs of cards, it's pretty much the same idea here. If you open up a pack of cards, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose money on that opening unless you pull like something rare or one of the super rare cards, right? So same idea. So I figured let's go over Ranga a little bit and talk about some of the traits and stuff like this. First off, a lot of NFT profile picks, they either face left or right. These are front facing PFPs, which yeah, you know, it might not sound too significant if you um, aren't into NFTs, but considering there hasn't really been any popular ones that come to my mind that are front facing, um, it is at least a change um, in some way. Next, there are 11 different archetypes. And these archetypes kind of um, determine the overall aesthetic of your uh, NFT. The first one I ever opened up was a Samurai, and I was actually very happy with that. Um, I don't actually have any of the ones I originally minted. I did sell them all. These prices have been fluctuating from like 0.3 to 0.7 Ethereum for weeks now. And today it really just skyrocketed from there. Um, so yeah, here's the Samurais. Uh, the, the Samurai that I currently have, uh, which I'll show you guys what I have after we go through the traits, have, um, let's see, where's Helmet, Helmet, and then Toad. This is probably one of the rarer, like, helmets you can get. Um, one of the Toad helmets. Mine is technically the Toad in blue, um, so there's 24 of those. Here's all the Toad helmets. I think there's some of the sickest Samurais in the whole collection. Um, just very, very awesome. I made the comparison a few days ago on Twitter. If this project really does pop off and somehow become the CryptoPunks of 2022, in my opinion, the Toad Samurais are comparable to the uh, CryptoPunks with the hoodies. And the reason why I say that is both are kind of like dark and edgy um, out of the, the collection. And in my opinion, they kind of stand out um, amongst the other stuff. They're also, um, hoodies are on the rare end, but they're not the rarest. And same thing with the uh, Toad Samurais. They're on the rare end, but they're not the rarest. So um, that's kind of how I came to that conclusion, to that thesis. And anyways, uh, Samurais is an, is an archetype I really like. Another archetype I really like is the 8-bit. Uh, I've been a lifelong gamer, and a lot of the 8-bits have like iconic like handhelds and controllers around the chest and everything like this, which I found really cool. Um, then like the yellow face for Pac-Man and some of them having like yellow eyes or sorry the black like Pac-Man eyes and stuff like this Overall, this is just um, one of my favorite, um, you know, traits um, Another one of my favorite traits is they have these wings hats in different colors um, I have a lot of wings hats and 8-bits in my collection and um, yeah, so Going through the rarest possible archetype is cube there's like 384 cube uh, characters. I did pick one up yesterday. I picked up one above the floor for 1.2, and as you can see now, the floor now is 1.55. The one I picked up did have a gold um, cube head, and the floor on that is now 1.85. So uh, I'm getting close to almost being up one ETH in like less than 24 hours on that um, purchase, you know, on paper. Um, so yeah. Uh, Next, oh, let's go through some of the 101s. And lastly, I'll go through some of the highest sales and then we can kind of go to the ones I've collected. Um, yeah, so here's um, the 101s. Uh, in my opinion, this cat 101 is like the best one. Um, it's got a third eye that opens up and it kind of is a, a GIF that circulates through different images. This one, I think just got minted yesterday or the day before that, very cool. But yeah, all the one of ones are very unique takes on certain uh, archetypes and stuff like this. Very, very, very cool stuff. Love this. I love how one of the one of one of ones does feature the toad um, helmet that I was talking about. Find that very, very cool. 
All right, so now to go into my collection a little bit, I do have one on another wallet, um, so I'll at least show you five of my six. Here they are, like I said, I really do like the eight bits a lot. I have two eight bits. This one is probably the oldest one I have in my collection. I copped it maybe a week or so ago. It does have that wing helmet, like I told you, told you about. This is actually the multicolor wings. Another thing that I really like about this collection is We've already seen like rare backgrounds, like example, this bamboo is a rare background. We've seen that in other collections, but this is the first collection that I can think of that has rare foregrounds. As you can see, this like golden glow and this green glow and these like red uh, swirls right here. These foreground things um, are kind of something new and unique. And in my opinion, when a project um, does pop off it's probably because they're bringing something new to the table and so between the front facing between the different archetypes and between the uh, foreground effects i think these are enough things that really do kind of switch up the whole um you know um, stereotype of what we see and know as a pfp up to this point so um i didn't have a cube until last night cube being the rarest archetype i had to add one to my collection and my thought process here is i wanted a gold helmet for sure um but then that mf doom uh, mf doom chain was really what um pushed me over and so uh there's that here's my samurai with his toad helmet eight bit with the bubble gum um what made me pick this guy specifically is he had the pac-man face with the pac-man eyes as well as the bubble gum as well as the special background as well as the special foreground so i felt like he had enough unique stuff on him to really make him stand out um Sorry, my battery went low, so pause for a second. One of my favorite traits as well is the cosmic hair. Um, in CryptoPunks, I love the purple hair, and I would have to say this is probably the comparison is the cosmic hair. Um, and then it's even more rare if you have the cosmic hair with the beard combo, so I definitely wanted that. I would, would have preferred a 3D glasses, but the 3D glasses, even a few days ago, were going for like three ETH, whereas this guy was like, I think under one ETH is what I got him for, so. Uh, I just went with the bargain buy, and so we'll see how that play turns out um, over time. And this guy right here, like I said, he was the first one I picked up. He's probably going to stay in the collection no matter what. This guy just, like, you know, reminds me of my childhood, collecting video games and everything like that. Love all the colors, love the multicolored hat and everything like that. So this guy, uh, to me, is a keeper. He's actually the cheapest one that I bought in at, so therefore the, the most profit to be made. But, um, yeah, not going to be selling him. So I did get him 12 days ago. Uh, September 3rd for half an ETH. So, yeah. Um, and keep in mind, he's one of, like, uh, the eight bits are one of the more rare archetypes. So half an ETH was not the floor. The floor is probably, like, 0.25 at that time or something like that. So, anyways, um, that's a quick overview of Ranga, some of the ones in my collection, as well as what the current floor price is. Um, it, it broke one ETH and then skyrocketed from there. So, like, one almost, I think it hit 1.2 and it's pulled back a little bit. Um, but, but the unique ownership has gone up like 200 in the past couple of hours, which is very impressive. And yeah, Ringa is something to keep an eye on. Uh, I did tweet out a few days ago. It has the potential. No one knows what's going to happen. I don't have a crystal ball. It has the potential to be, um, you know, this year's big project. Um, I believe that for many reasons. The fact that it's launching during the, um, bear market, you know, a lot of people aren't really looking for new stuff. Um just the unique factor to it and some of the things that i mentioned before the front facing the foreground effects the archetypes it has enough unique things in it that really make me think it stands out and yeah we'll see how it does right now it's reached all-time high so congrats to everyone holding and congrats to the team who created it An amazing project that i've thoroughly enjoyed going through all the traits and finding which ones i really like uh wing hat and samurai and 8-bit being some of my favorites and yeah, until next time guys, peace. Thanks for watching.